Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, everyday makeup look and like my everyday routine and I wear this look to like work, um, if I like to hang out with friends, just go out. This is like my like daily go-to that I know will never fail me. But I decided that was a little too easy for me and like you know I'm sick of using the same products for you guys but I still wanted to give you guys this look so I decided to try out some brand new products for me they may not necessarily be new to the drugstore but they are new to my collection so I did go and purchase some stuff throughout the last week or so and kind of do like a first impression on these new products and see how it worked out um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching we'll just get right into it so I did this eye off camera and I'm going to be doing this one on camera right now. So yeah, let's just do it. So I did my eyebrows off camera because first of all, my eyebrows have been all over the place and a freaking mess. So um, don't mind them, but whatever. So what I always do, I never do like eyeshadow or anything on like my everyday basis i just do a wing liner but i always want to like put a base on my eye anyways so what i always do i always grab my wet and wild photo focus concealer and i just set my my eyelids with it as if i was about to like put eyeshadow on but i'm actually not gonna add anything and then i'm just grabbing my wet and wild deluxe crease brush to blend that in And what you want to do is tap it that way you don't get rid of the product and that way you're not like pulling on your eyelid so then I'm going to grab my airspun translucent powder and I'm going to grab like a beauty blender to set that So what I always do for eyeliner is I always use my NYX matte eyeliner. Oh, something new I found at the drugstore are these um, Wispies multi-packs. So they're not Demi Wispies or I don't know. They just look like this. So I got these because they look really like fluffy and beautiful. And it's like perfect for every day. And I just use my Ardell glue. So these eyelashes are pretty like natural to be honest, they're not really like dramatic but on an everyday basis this is kind of what I like. I'm going to be trying two new products on here and I'm really excited. So first I'm going to use to prime my face, um, I am on the drier side so this is what I'm going to do, especially because the foundation I'm using is matte, I definitely want to make sure I am not dry at all. So I'm going to be taking these Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and this is in the shade, I think it's Moonlight. Oh, damn. Okay, so that's how much I'm going to be doing. Oh girl, we are oily today. Okay, I think I put way too much on. Girl, I look like the Tin Man from Wiz Wizard of Oz. So, um, I'll be right back. I have to go wet my beauty blender. That's actually new too. And then the foundation I'm using is new too. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to be using a new beauty blender. This is by Morphe Brushes. I actually picked it up at my local Ulta. It was $7 and I was always so intrigued to try it because a lot of like 
YouTubers use it and rave about it, so I wanted to try that. So I'm going to be using that. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm going to put a little bit on my beauty blender and let's just go right in. Try another technique. I'm gonna put it in the back of my hand. I don't know, it's not like covering enough as I'd like it to. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and dot it. I'm gonna put some on my forehead. And I got the shade 228, which is soft tan I think looks okay hopefully it comes together at the end again I don't know what it is that I don't like about it but we'll see Yeah, I don't really like this beauty blender. It's not nearly as good as the original beauty blender. I personally think the perfect dupe for the beauty blender is the Eco Tools beauty sponge. I think I mentioned it in one of my last videos. And I prefer that one over this one. And it's around the same price. And I did use my LA Girl Pro HD concealer. I did try a new shade. Sh sh I did try a new shade, which I have been loving using this shade so much better. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. So it's very similar to the Ben Nye Banana Powder, even the packaging. And I feel like Makeup Revolution has like a reputation of like making exact dupes of certain products. So I definitely think this is the dupe for the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And what I'm going to use to set the rest of my face, I'm going to actually use my RCMA No Color Powder to set the rest of my face. And then I'm just going to set my face with it. Now I'm going to dust away the banana powder with my contour brush, I just use it to dust away. So So I really like the way it dusted off. Usually when I use like the RCMA or the Airspun one, even the Laura Mercier a little bit, not as much. Usually when I dust away, the powder goes everywhere, even though it, even if I've been setting it on my face for like 10 minutes, even when I dust away, it'll go everywhere. This one, I dusted away and it didn't go anywhere at all, maybe just a little bit, and for the most part, I feel like it really set in my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my butter bronzer and again with the same brush. And 
and I'm just using my Luminoso blush by Milani, which I love. Okay, so I'm gonna do my lower lashes and I'm just gonna coat them with mascara. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop pressed powder highlighter and then I'm gonna take my my highlighter brush which in case you guys are wondering it's bomb it's the M510 brush by Morphe it's great It's not too intense, but for an everyday look, it's good. So this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. So this is like new kind of because I hadn't seen this before. So I'm going to take the Creme de Nude by MAC, which isn't new, but... I'll be right back, I'm gonna finish my hair and then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on all these products, okay? Ooh. Okay guys, so basically this is the look I came up with. So overall, um, I really like the results. I hope you guys liked this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much and I will catch you next time.